Wicked, aren't they? Yeah. Wow, they're fast. Wow, wow. Yeah. Side catching for sure. Like, yeah. Like, gotta be awake, man. <laughs> <laughs> Feeds you reach in a go kart is something I, I forgot, you know, like how quickly you can you can go for a go kart, and it's just studying, you know, the structure. Um, I felt pretty pretty safe as well at the same time. Um, nice welcome in here from everybody in the in the facility, and uh, can't wait to be back. And is it nice to kind of go back to your karting roots? Because obviously you started your racing career in karting, so is it a little nostalgic for you? It's always fun and I, I never miss a chance. Whenever I feel there's an opportunity to drive a go-kart, even if I'm back in Brazil, uh, it's something I never uh, let off uh, from my career, even though it's, uh, you know, it's something I did a lot in the beginning of my career, but it's still the basics of, of racing. So uh, it keeps you sharp, it keeps you involved as a, as a race team, you speak to your, you know, your team itself, you want to set up the go kart and keeps that competition alive and it's fun. At the same time, it's something simple, basic, and fast. And you had a big transition from the concession cars to the shifter, so how was that? <laughs> that, was, that was huge. I was like, okay, I got it now. And then when I jumped on the shifter, like, man, this is quick. You know, I better just do a few laps and better go home. We've got a big race this weekend, uh, the 10 hours of uh, Road Atlanta, Petit Le Mans. And uh, we're second in the championship, so we give it all, uh, you know, to be bring this title home. So we've got to be in one piece, which I did. So <laughs> good job for me, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Awesome, appreciate it.